If you would like to search Credo Reference, you provide access to a variety of materials for your students. Please visit the library's homepage, select the Articles and Scholarly Resources tab, and then in either the top alphabetical listing of resources or in the online reference area, select Credo Reference, and then to the right, click on the Go button. It should take you into the resource. And what you have is a search box with over three and a half million full text articles from uh, almost a thousand titles. And what these titles represent are subject specific encyclopedias or dictionaries. And the entries can range from short dictionary level entries defining what a particular topic is to much longer uh, 1,000, 2,000 word long encyclopedia entries that really get into an overview of the topic. You can search for a particular topic or you can scroll down and browse around some of their larger categories. In this case, let's put in something about, oh, um, Ernest Hemingway. We can do a search for my topic. And what I'll see are a variety of articles. It also has, in this case, images. I can limit to all types of resources, whether that's a definition, a pro-con, or a reference material. If I just want an encyclopedia entry, I might just select reference, and it will change my results slightly from 1,000 something to 960. If I decide that I want to review one of these entries, I would take a closer look by clicking on the link, obviously. Before I even do, I want to take a look at the number of words that are listed. So 1,300 words is fairly long. 4,000 words or close to 4,000 words is much, much uh, longer. So I would probably want to take a look at one of these entries if I want my students to have a nice overview of Ernest Hemingway's writing. You'll see related searches to the right. So you may be in with an entry on F. Scott Fitzgerald or a particular short story. And again, this would work for any variety of topics, whether it's in the sciences, history, social sciences, et cetera. If you want to embed this particular entry into a course or provide access to it through an email, you don't just select the URL at the top of the page. That would uh, not take you through our, our authentication system, which is necessary for students off campus. What you would want to do is scroll down to the bottom of the page where there typically is an entry and you'll notice that this URL begins with this Open Athens uh, redirect that's associated with Lincoln Land. And you would copy this entire URL by right-clicking or using Control C. And then you could paste that into Blackboard, Canvas, and email, however you would like to communicate this particular link. And that way it includes the authentication redirect, which allows you to access this, this material from off campus. If you would like students to access an entire resource in and of itself, like perhaps I want them to choose an entry from within an encyclopedia of psychology or an encyclopedia of uh, history, some sort of history encyclopedia, I would find that particular encyclopedia that I'm interested in. And then in this case, I don't have an entry down at the bottom, a URL that I can uh, provide access to with that redirector. What you would do is you would select the URL at the top, you would copy that, paste that into your learning management system or email, but then in the guide, I've provided the redirect URL that you have to place at the beginning of it. So what you would do is essentially combine two different URLs so that the students are redirected to it. And you'll see that in the guide um, that includes this video. All right, take care.